Welcome to the MECO Graphics training video. This video demonstrates how to use data rows and data columns to make more powerful charts. Data rows and data columns are really useful for enhancing a chart. They can be used for both text and data and offer huge advantages over using manual text boxes to add information to your chart as they're faster to use and update automatically when your data changes. Let me show you some examples of how to use data rows and data columns. You can use a data row to clarify what's already on your chart. For example, in this bar MECO chart, we're using a data row to help our audience understand the variable that is driving the bar width. This is very common when you're using either a bar MECO or a MARA MECO chart. Let me show you how I created this data row. I'm double clicking the chart and I'm going to open up my data. I can either click on chart data or I can just double click in the white space to open up my data. And you can see here that the first row, year over year change, is plotted on the y-axis of my chart. But it's the second row, percent of total units, that I'm using in two different ways. First, this row is being used to drive the bar width. So it's pulling this data to calculate the width of the bar. Second, it's being used to create my data row. If I right click the row, you can see that I selected series as data row. So that action pulls that data down as a row beneath the chart and set as bar width. So it's being used using that data to drive the width of the bar. I can turn off show as data row and you'll see it goes away, but I think I want to turn it back on. So I'll just go back and turn it back on. And I'll go ahead and close my data and close the chart. Now in this waterfall chart, we're using the data row in a slightly different way. We could show the percentage of the total sales target as a segment value for each bar, but in this case, we're pulling it out as a data row to make it easy for the audience to see the key message of the slide, which is that we only close 13% of the sales target for the year. Double clicking this chart, if I open my data, you can see that there's a row percent of sales target and that I've used a calculation and then I've set that as a data row through my data sheet. Let me provide a few more examples of how you can use data rows and columns to add information to your chart and contribute to your key insight. Here in this Merameco, we're using the data row for text and the text is actually informing us of the regions of origin for each one of these restaurants. The message of this chart from the tagline is that the restaurants are strongest in their home region. So the text is actually driving the key insight of this chart. So for example here, Panera originated in the Midwest and still represents the majority of store locations for Panera. Using text in your data row is another powerful way to reinforce your message. If I go to this next chart, this is a build up waterfall chart. And the data row here was calculated to display the win percent for each of the conferences, showing Big East is leading the way, and also showing that six of the 32 conferences received 64% of the profits. And here is one last example of a common use of a data row displaying net sales and percentage of sales growth, both pulled out as a data row. And now I want to show you some data columns. This chart has two data columns. The first is text that might normally be seen in a legend, but in this case, we're using it as a data column. And the second is revenue per user. So let's look at this chart. But instead of going to my data, which I've done before, I'm going to go to the edit chart ribbon up here at the top and click on bars and series. This is another way to set your data rows and data columns. So once I open this window, you'll see that for series, I have the option to set my data rows here with this data checkbox. It's the same as doing it through the data. And then in bars, I have the same option for my data columns. Now for this chart, I have two data columns. One doesn't have the header label and I'm setting that as a data column here. 
and revenue per user, which does have a header, and I'm setting them both here as data columns by checking that box. Notice I can also format them. So I can format revenue per user right here on the fly with currency or decimals or whatever I want as well. Now, normally my data columns would appear to the right of my last bar, but I actually just manually moved these four data column labels to the left-hand side, which just gives it a more interesting look. And that concludes our training video. Thanks for watching. For more information on Mecho Graphics, please visit our website at mechographics.com.